It's 11 trivia questions on celebrity marriages. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. If you like trivia, you're in the right place. And there are over 500, going on 600 episodes of this show to check out. So just kind of search along the feed and see what tickles your fancy. If you're into cars for movies, I got you covered. If you're into the Twilight Zone, I got you covered. If you like just random trivia about random stuff, we've got a ton of that too. And you can find it by listening to the show every single day. So hit subscribe on your device right now to never miss a daily episode of Trivia with Buds. I'm a trivia host in Southern California. You can find out more about playing live trivia and bingo with me at TriviaWithBuds.com. It's linked in all the show notes of the episodes as well. It is the new fall TV season, guys, and I've been watching a lot of stuff. Here's three good things I watched and a couple bad things I watched, just for your reference. Uh, I saw the season premiere of Modern Family. That was season 11, and I have not watched a new episode of this show in, I don't know, six years or so, but I do love the show, and I'd love to catch up on it. So got to see when they're going to add those to Hulu, all the old seasons. I think they only have the current season or two, Uh, but the season premiere, super funny. I think it's the last season of Modern Family. So if you've been behind on that show, it's a perfect time to jump in, and uh, I didn't feel lost or anything. It was just funny as ever, so I thought that was awesome, and I watched a show on Hulu called I'm Sorry, with uh, some really funny comedians and comedic actors and actresses that I like, including Jason Manzukis from the How Did This Get Made podcast, as well as a ton of other stuff. But uh, go check that out. It's filthy, really filthy jokes, really uh, <laughs> like just crazy situations, at least on the first episode I watched. But uh, hilarious, super, super funny, and we'll keep watching that for sure. And I thought the Goldbergs premiere was great. That was a uh, vacation episode parody where they kind of parodied um, Clark Griswold and family from the original 1984, I think it was, 81, vacation movie. And there's some real fun cameos in there. And if you like the Goldbergs, really funny premiere. Thought that was awesome. Two bad things I watched. I thought this new Cal Penn um, sitcom, it's called Sunnyside on NBC, was not so good. Um, I watched the, the pilot of it and just didn't laugh very much. And I thought it was just like a real lame kind of show. Some interesting characters, but not enough to keep me watching. But maybe you would think otherwise, but maybe give that one a check out. But that's just my quick review. And uh, Superstore, which is one of my favorite shows to watch, I thought had a super weak premiere for the season this year. But again, I'll keep watching that because I love those characters and that show. So those are some fun, quick reviews for me on things that I watched recently. And uh, I've been sick as well as my kids in the house. Uh, We've had some some bouts with some things. So uh, that's what we've been doing, watching a lot of TV. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. If you want to hit me up on email, you can always check out ryanbuds at gmail.com. Throw me an email about anything, and I will usually respond. Also, we have a Discord app chat. If you're a Patreon subscriber, you can support this show monthly by going to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and donating a dollar or more. When you donate a dollar, you get access to this Discord app chat. And you can send different links and fun trivia, pop culture things in there to other fans of the show. And I like to interact with everybody in there on a hopefully daily basis, sometimes every few days or so. Anyway, today's episode is about celebrity marriages, and it's just a totally random episode from a party I did for this woman named Regina a couple weeks ago. I actually didn't even host the party. One of my best hosts, Dave Williamson, great comedian, great host, ran this party for me, but I thought it would be cool to include it in today's episode. It's celebrity marriages. It's 11 questions. Let's see how you do. Here we go. All right, celebrity marriage is number one. Here is the first question of the quiz for today. What actress is Tom Hanks married to? Question number one, what actress is Tom Hanks married to? Question number two, Ben Stiller and his wife, who he is currently separated from, Christine Taylor, appeared as Melody on what Nickelodeon 90s show? Christine Taylor appeared as Melody on what 90s show on Nickelodeon? Question number two.
Question number three, in what year did Jay-Z and Beyonce get married? Question number three, what was the year of the marriage of Jay-Z and Queen B? Number three. Question number four, coming your way, married from 1920 to 1940, what was F. Scott Fitzgerald's wife's first name? Number four, married from 1920 to 40, what was the name of F. Scott Fitzgerald's wife? Number four. Question number five, who did Marilyn Monroe marry for a total of 274 days? Number five, who did Marilyn Monroe marry for a total of 274 days, just shy of a year or so, by 100 days? Number five. Question number six, what Tarantino actress did Gary Oldman marry back in 1990? Number six, what Tarantino actress did Gary Oldman marry back in 1990? Question number seven, coming your way, what country singer did Julia Roberts marry in 1993? Number seven, what country singer did Julia Roberts marry back in 1993? Question number eight, which couple met when the female auditioned to play the male's girlfriend on his 1990 sitcom? Number eight, which couple met when the female auditioned to play the male's girlfriend on his 1990 sitcom? Question number nine, Mark Consuelos met his wife on the set of All My Children. Who is she? Number nine, Mark Consuelos met his wife on the set of All My Children. Who might she be? Number nine. Question number 10, what TNT drama did Kevin Bacon's wife star on? Number 10, what TNT drama did Kevin Bacon's wife star on? And your bonus question for Celebrity Marriages. For two points, what two stars of One Tree Hill were married back in 2005? I don't think it lasted too long. For two points, what two stars of One Tree Hill were married back in 2005? Those are all your questions for today's Celebrity Marriage Quiz. We'll be right back in just a second with those blissful answers. We're back with the answers to celebrity marriages. Let's see how you did on this 11-question quiz on couples. Number one, what actress is Tom Hanks married to? That is longtime partner Rita Wilson. They've been married for, I think, over 30 years, number one. Number two, Ben Stiller's wife, Christine Taylor, appeared as Melody on what Nickelodeon 90s show that was called Hey Dude about working at a dude ranch? Number two, I used to watch that all the time. I don't know what was interesting about that show to me, but I did used to watch it. Number three, in what year did Jay-Z and Beyonce get married? That was 2000 and late, or as the Black Eyed Peas called it, 2008. Number three, number four, married from 1920 to 1940. What was F. Scott Fitzgerald's wife's first name? Her name was Zelda. Number four, which is a great name of a video game character. I'm playing Link to the Past right now on the Super Nintendo emulator as part of Nintendo Switch Online. And man, it's bringing back some gaming memories. Number five, who did Marilyn Monroe marry for a total of 274 days? That was Joe DiMaggio. Number five, they were married for 274 days. Number six, Tarantino actress. Which one did Gary Oldman marry back in 1990? That was Uma Thurman. Gary Oldman now on his fifth wife, if I'm not mistaken. Number six, Uma Thurman. Number seven, what country singer did Julie Roberts marry in 1993? That was old Lyle Lovett. He's kind of a strange looking dude for her to marry. Number seven, I remember my mom going, oh, what is she thinking? (laughs) She did not approve of that marriage. Number eight, which couple met when the female auditioned to play the male's girlfriend on his 1990 sitcom? This was tough, but it makes sense. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. Number eight, Will and Jada met on his 1990 sitcom, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Number nine, Mark Consuelos met his wife on the set of All My Children. Who is she? That would be Kelly Ripa, host of Kelly Live. And number 10, what TNT drama did Kevin Bacon's wife star on? The Closer. Number 10, which is about someone who just closes doors. It's a very boring show. And for two points, the bonus question to close out this Day's episode, what two stars of One Tree Hill were married in 2005? That was Chad Michael Murray and Sophia Bush. Chad Michael Murray, of course, on that show and was in the movie uh, House of Wax, the remake. (laughs) 
from, I think, 2005 or six. I remember seeing it in theaters for some reason. That's what I do with my time back then. Guys, that was today's episode. Thank you so much for playing along. Remember, you can write down the answers. You can uh, shout them out. You can record yourself answering them, whatever you want to do, but always share it with me. I like to see how people consume the episodes. You can email me anything, ryanbuds at gmail. Com. It's time for the question of the day brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. Go to them for all your design needs. That's fmdesignsinc.com. Who plays the neighborhood architect on the sitcom The Good Place? Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds or email ryanbuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Chippendale Rescue Rangers. And the question was, what was the villain fat cat on what disney afternoon show could you find fat cat again the answer chippendale rescue rangers trivia team name of the day is web md kills me because people google stuff and then they go oh i guess i'm dead because i have all these ailments and symptoms so web md kills me is your trivia team name of the day Thank you guys so much for listening to today's episode. If you have any recommendations for topics, let me know in the near future. Tweet me, hit me up on social media, Instagram, at Ryan Buds on just about everything. And I'll try and work it in just for you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with Buds. Cheers.